welcome Street Rats to Night City. I'm the one and only Moxie Eleven, bringing you slightly biased news footage from the fourth wall. We look back in a week ago on Wraith, who had stepped out of the bar to make a call to his bandmate Z. She picks him up and they head to Spicy Pete's, where Wraith tells her, in a most heartbreaking scene, the story of what happened to Rico and that he's now dead. At the end of the story, Z says nothing and walks out, leaving him behind. He spends the rest of the week at a fan's place trying to sell his shoes for cash, and when he can't find a buyer, he decides to set up a benefit concert, named The Vigil, for the victims of Shady Acres, heading to the hovel to collect his gear. Meanwhile, the rest of us talk about making a distraction when we return to Shady Acres tonight so we can move about a little more freely. Our discussions move to the hovel to have a more private chat where we run into Wraith. Angus offers him a shower, Cass and I offer him food, and as Wraith is cleaning up, Angus talks to us about using the concert as the distraction we need. However, when Wraith returns, Angus doesn't give him the full story, telling him that moving the benefit concert up a day is in his benefit. After first-hand experience with how Angus's half-truths go, yes, the pun was intended, I tell Wraith the full reason we want him to move the concert up a day, which works out great for him, since that was also his plan so he could go and search for a special recording. Wraith makes the calls, and we finalize our plan. Meanwhile, I learn from my research and contacts that Nusa has also heard of the concert, the date changed, and they plan to cover it, so I inform everyone to keep their eye out. Evening descends and we return to what is left of Shady Acres. Ray starts setting up for the show, Angus is in a building down the street, Kemi, G and Cass are on the building we used before, and I stand on the corner watching the concert, the fenced off area where the machinery has been removed, and the street beyond. With the concert starting, opening with Kabuki All Stars, Wraith and Z's band, purposefully absent Rico, an incredible performance that really showcases the man's absence. It draws the two guards in front of the rubble to watch. When I think one's far enough away, I move closer to the fence and the tent to jump over, as Angus had planned, which unfortunately draws the guard back. Informed by Cass that I've been spotted, I keep walking down the street, glancing at the gate to see if it's locked, while pretending to be on my agent and purchase a tequila taco. Not sensing me as a threat, I hope. The guard returns to his round, and I return to the fence to group up with the rest of the gang. Good thing that Jammer was dead, otherwise we might have had an actual problem on our hands. We climb over the fence, despite the noise due to my lack of limb, and fail to alert the guard, most likely due to the fact that high-energy punk rock band Wacko is playing. In the tent at the computer, a guard is asleep. So Angus grabs him from behind to choke him out, and that is where our session ended. To watch the story unfold live, tune into Saves vs. Death every Saturday at 8.30pm Eastern at twitch.tv slash saves vs. death. If you can't watch live, be sure to subscribe to the Saves vs. Death channel on YouTube so you can watch it as soon as the recording is released. You can also download it as a podcast. Stay safe, cyberpunks. This has been your Night City Recap with Moxie11.